Hi, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to open files with external programs using Emacs. So if I come across here, what you can typically do is um, press ampersand and um, give it the name of the program you want to launch the file with. So it's KIV and it opens the program. And the reason why we use the ampersand is um, that opens it in the background and allows us to continue using Emacs. However, it's a bit of a pain having to type, you know, percent, you know, shift seven, and then type in the name of the program you want. Um, so what we want to be able to do is just press return and actually open the program and open the file with the program we specify. So if I if I just press return, you we'll see that this is opening in SKIV. So if I come back across here, let's go through some other things. If I come to my documents and into books, and let's open a um, PDF. So I can either press return or press L on the keyboard, uh, which I showed you in a previous video um, with improving Dyad, um, will actually open the file directly with the, the Thora, which is a um, the Thora, um, a PDF um, application. So I'm going to do the same thing with videos now to show you this working. If I come across here um, and come across into one of my videos. So the last video I did was Emacs tips and tricks. So if I come in here, I can now just press return on either of these um, videos or L on the keyboard and it's open the, um, the video with MPV player. Hi, in today's video, screen, you can see there, you've got the create and the now is well or that video showing. So let's have a look at how we do this. I'm going to quit this and come across to my Emacs config in it.l. And what you need to do is install the open with package. So if I come across here, you see these are all the packages that I've got installed, and you'll see um, just here open with so basically what you need to do is run um, meta x package install and then open with and because i've already got it installed it actually um, it's not prompting me it's not auto completing the name and that's the first thing you install the open with package and i'm going to show you how you actually configure this so if we come down across here so this is the um there's two parts to this is the um this block of code here but also what we need to do is suppress a warning that emacs um, brings up normally if you try and open a large file with emacs like um a video it's going to say this is a really large file Are you sure you want to open it and we want to suppress that warning because we're using the open with package so it's going to open video files the video player and not in Emacs and we basically we don't want to be prompted with having to type yes or no every time we want to open a file so the first thing that we do is we have this require open with and then what we have is the open with associations basically this is a list of file extensions and the application that you want to open the file with so what we've got down here um, is this block of code that I actually um, pinched from the system crafters um, dot files um, and I showed you in a previous video um, some people you should have a look at um, on YouTube who do good stuff about Emacs and um, there were two bits I needed to actually add to this block of code to get it to work um, so first of all what we've got down here is a list of file extensions um, for video and audio and you can see here that we're specifying to open these files with MPV. And then we've got another block here, um, actually setting it to open um, image types with SKIV. Um, I noticed they hadn't put in um, the JPEG um, in the System Crafters config. They left out the um, JPEG extension, JPG, um, because they said it's Sort of causing some issues with another program so i haven't actually checked that out um, and added um, just the regular jpeg extension but basically we're opening all the images with skiv and then what we've got down here is pdfs 
um, opening with the Fora, um, bit of a tongue tire. Now, what I found is I needed to add this um, little block of code down here, open with dash mode one, um, because if I didn't add that, what happened was when I tried to open an image, it would actually open the image with Emacs. So that's an additional thing that I found you needed to add. And the other thing that you need to add is this section down here, suppress large file prompt. So set Q large file warning threshold nil. And basically what that does is that suppresses the warning you get when you try and open a large file, like a video file or an image, because Emacs thinks you're gonna try and open the large file with Emacs, but we're opening like uh, videos with MPV. So we don't wanna be prompted to have to type yes or no every time we try and open a file. So that's the, that's the little sort of bits you need to go through to get this working. Um, install the open with package. And then again, we've got this block of code, require open with file associations, open with mode. And finally, the um, suppress large file prompt. So once we've got all that set up, you put that into your Emacs file. Um, instead of actually um, uh, quitting Emacs and restarting it, once you've added this code, what you can do is run MX eval buffer, and that's going to reload the configuration file um, and apply the changes. So once you've done all of that, you can basically come across um, into Dyad. Um, but this also works with um, the mini buffer, I believe. So if I come across and do videos, um, OBS should, yep. Right. See, it also works from the mini buffer as well, which is convenient. Um, but basically, the reason why we want to do this is so that we can actually use Dyad as a proper file manager and open specific files with specific applications. So again, we've got the pictures, um, I open the PNG, it's gonna open with SKIV. And if I shift back to Emacs, you can see I can still use Emacs and it's not, um, it's not locked up until I quit the um, external application. So that's really important because um, you might wanna open a video file and watch it, but still continue to use Emacs. So that's, that's images. Oh. And again, the PDFs. Okay, DaVinci Resolve manual. And you can see there that's opening up with um, the Thora. And most importantly, um, videos. So this is particularly useful um, for actually opening videos and um, as I said in the previous video, I showed you how we can um, improve Dyad um, with the um, Dyad single package and um, Evil Collection, which allows me to um, use the H and L keys to go in and out of directories. And it also um, sets Dyad to only create one buffer. Because normally when you use Dyad, it will create a buffer for every single directory that you visit, which is very annoying. So. Now what we have is a way to basically um, use Dyad, come across here, bang, opens Hi, the video, full video, screen. Gonna... Um, so it's really, really convenient, really fast. Hi, video. And hit pager, bang. Hi, in today's video. Um, so that's really useful. And it just really improves um, Dyad as a file manager. So again, very simple to set up. Um, package install, then open with, press return. Once you've done that, again, go into your Emacs, conf your Emacs config. And um, I showed you in a previous video how you can, um, if you're using the latest version of Emacs, it will actually follow the XDG specification and allow you to store the config in config emacs instead of um, in your home directory which is the default but you do need um, the sort of a later version of emacs 
and I install Emacs using Nix PKGs on um, Ubuntu, which I covered in a previous video. And now I can just come across here. So what's going to happen is um, if I just come back here, when you install a package um, in Emacs, it's going to automatically add it to the packages, selected packages um, variable. So you can see these are all the packages that I've got installed. And um, basically what this means is um, if you have it set up like this, you can copy your Emacs configuration file to another computer. And then when you start up Emacs, it's actually going to prompt you to install all these packages. That's a really good way of bootstrapping Emacs. So that's the first step. And again, we have the require block of code. So you just need this block of code. Require open with. We set the file associations down here and the um, between the file extension and the program you want to open. So all the video and audio, uh, we're going to open with MPV and um, images. We're going to open with SKIV and PDFs with the Thora. Um, but I did find that if I didn't have this open with mode one, um, what would happen is, as I said, the images would actually open directly in Emacs. So that's one thing you need to do. And then set the um, large file um, warning threshold. So if I comment this out, I'll show you what I mean. So now if I eval this buffer, eval buffer, and if I now switch back to home and I try and open a video, what it should do. Um, no. Hi, in today's video, maybe I need to quit Emacs for that to um, pick it up. So I'm just going to quit Emacs and restart it. Okay. Okay, this is the warning I was, I was uh, mentioning. Uh, file is large, really open, yes, no, or literally. So, so no. So that's why we want the. Open with. That's why we need this block of code down here. And I'll try a battle buffer again. That should pick up the changes. May need to restart Emacs. Let's see. I oh, know. Hi. In today's okay, so video, there you go. we're going to be taking a look at. So that's that's how we can get rid of that warning, which um, would make using this annoying because you don't have to press yes or no every time you try and open a file. That's just stupid. So again, come across into his an MKV. Click it. Hi, open to MPV. Video. And you can see how fast um, that is. And it's just um, actually more useful um, than using the terminal to open programs, um, to open um, video files, because if you're, um, if you're just running, you know, MPV in the terminal, you know, MPV, and then a file name, um, and you've got a file, a lot of files that um, have got the same name, you have to, you know, tab through till you get to the file you actually want to open. Of course, you could use another program like NNN or Ranger or something like that, but we can use Emacs directly for this. So this makes it a lot easier to um, Hi, open files up. Yeah, I'm gonna be As you can see, I can come back um, in and out of these directories and you'll see that um, it's actually only got one buffer open, as I said, and that's done with... Um, Dyad single and the evil collection and I covered that in um, the Emacs tips and tricks um, video here. So this is the um, Emacs tips and tricks um, video that I did earlier on today showing you how you can view different colors and stuff in Emacs um, but this just makes it a lot nicer to use um, Dyad as a file manager as you can see, I've got a nice highlighting line that's um, using the Solarize theme. I can um, toggle um, hidden files with a keyboard shortcut, um, like so. And as I said in the previous video, I actually hide all the long listing you'd normally get um, 
in dyad. So normally, depending on what switches you pass the dyad, you're going to get um, an output like this, where it's going to show the directories, your username, um, you know, timestamps, um, and file size. But the issue with this is, if you have this kind of layout in dyad, what happens is your cursor is going to be over here on the left hand side. Suppose you're searching for something beginning with D. What's going to happen is it's going to match all these D's down here before it actually matches um, these directories. Um, and the same thing if you have something, you know, with a file or a directory that's got a W or an X, what would happen is it would actually match those before it matches the directories on the right hand side. So that's basically why I hide all that information because um, I can, it just makes it easier to actually um, search for directories or files without those listings interfering with it. So that's basically how we can use um, Open With to make um, Diode into what you might call a proper file manager. Um, again, you can use something like NNN or Ranger. So this is NNN. You know, I can come in here, um, and do that, and open a file like so. But as I said, we can basically do the same thing with Emacs and um, not have to use an external program. So it just makes it much easier to use. And the other thing that I do is um, I use Xmonad and what I have is a Emacs scratch pad. So I can press a keyboard shortcut and it will bring up a Emacs window. So what I can do is actually use this. Um, ugh. And so now it's given me an error for some reason as I try and show that. So I'm just trying to no such file, evil collection mode, bookmarks, evil collection, bookmarks. So I don't know why I'm getting that file, but God's law, there's always going to be something that goes wrong with a sort of live demo. But um, if I close that window and come back um, here, you can see it's working in this window. Um, maybe that's because I sort of was changing things and it's basically got confused. But as you can see, this will open all the files uh, with the right program. Really nice and quick. And uh, as I said, um, you can continue to use um, Emacs while the, um, the file is open in the external program. So it's not going to lock up Emacs. And um, it's just um, a really big improvement on using Dyad because, as I said, um, normally what you'd have to do is um, run um, ampersand and to open the file in the background so you can continue using Emacs and then like type SKIV to open it. So that's several keyboard shortcuts. Uh, several keyboard um, presses to do that whereas using open with we can just press return and it's going to open the file with the program we specified so that's how we can um, get dyad to be a bit more usable more like a, a traditional file manager that you're used to um, just by installing the open with package and um, adding a bit of code setting the open with um, to one and also suppressing the large file warning that you'd normally get